That's crazy. A man who shot and killed a passenger in another car in a road rage incident will spend the next 60 years in prison. 31-year-old Eli Hickerson was murdered as he was heading home from work in 2022. WRTV's Lauren Schwenker was in the courtroom when the judge sentenced mm -hmm. Dion Kimbrough for the crime. It was a very emotional day in the courtroom as we heard from multiple family members of victim Eli Hickerson. After the sentencing, we touched base with the family that says no amount of justice will bring their son back. When you have a child and you can protect him for so long and then the world takes over, we just don't have our Eli anymore. The 60 years that he did get is never gonna be. A Prognathy, son, man. Oh, damn. Proto Prognathy. Damn. God damn. <laughs> so this, hold on. So this is an Yo. indigenous American, right? Right here? Yeah, this is a, in, we was here before everybody, man. Yeah, you see, we built that. Kind of looks like the predator. Any more concave, and you could open a can with his head. Uh, it's never going to be need. enough, and it's never going to, we're never going to be the same again. A road rage incident took 31 year old Eli Hickerson from his family and the world. Friday morning, a judge sentenced Dion Kimbrough to 60 years for Hickerson's murder. Many tested. Listen, man, Dion going to go like. Dion would have probably gotten this same sentence somewhere in the future, in the near distant future, near of his life. You know what I'm saying? He was doing, he was probably doing things that were leading him to this moment in another. It's just sad that it, it took um, this guy's life. This guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dion would have probably killed some Sun Man at a dice game. You know what I'm saying? And gotten the same thing. Or, you know, robbed some goddamn. <laughs> Uber driver or something, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, this guy crossed paths with him and he got it. He the reason the other shit. Yeah, you gotta avoid the groid. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, maybe he just passed him though, you know? Like, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's a good unfortunately, point. Unfortunately, yeah, it is literally unavoidable at some moments. Well, he that's wasn't driving. Saying, like, he was a passenger. He was a passenger in the car. Okay. Oh, true. Okay. So somebody, uh, the person driving a fit the Dion. <laughs> Dion shot into the car. Yeah, it's like we can move away from y'all, but like at some point we're gonna have to share a fucking road. So exactly. we can't completely yeah. insulate ourselves. No, nah, consider yourself lucky up there. Think about it. if there's an exit that to your town, like and the sun man get off to get some gas, like he, doing that he can kill one. Of you know right. There's always a chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, man. It's Eli all over Hickerson from his family? I mean, it's just all over a perceived <laughs> subjective slight on his part, which you have absolutely no control over. Right, nothing. Yeah, you can't. You, as a son, man, I'd be sensitive, though. I'd be knowing when son men be, like, upset about little slights, though, because I'm a son, man. Um, yeah, but when you're driving, you might not even know who the hell's in that car. Well, here's the thing, though. If, oh, okay, if, if, I guess if, they got pretty close, though, in this, in this case. Yeah, if some man, some man of a, 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 like anything that doesn't go his way on the road, yeah, you you in trouble. Your best bet is letting him go by, like, you know what I'm saying? 100%. Like, yeah, letting him go, because when he's down there, you better off than him being behind you. Always want to be behind a sub man, whether in a car or on foot. <laughs> you know what I'm a road rage incident took 31 year old Eli Hickerson from his family and the world. Friday morning, a judge sentenced Dion Kimbrough to 60 years for Hickerson's murder. Many testified on what Eli Hickerson's loss has done to them. In the grand scope, in a small little microcosm, what would you going to get out of it? I'm on the, he don't care. You're pound. After a three-day jury trial yeah, in he August. <laughs> he won't laugh. He won't bust out laughing. He ready to get back in the cell. Kimbrough was convicted of yeah. murder and unlawful possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. And that coward shot my boy in the back and then claimed self-defense. Kimbrough's family also took the stand, stating he was not a... <clears throat> 
So he's a violent, they, they call him a violent, serious violent felon. So that means he had a serious, he, he called a serious violent felon. That means your past is like checkered, man. You got a, a spotted past, man. Possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. And that coward shot my boy in the back and then claimed self-defense. Kimbrough's family also took the stand, stating he was not a monster and had a son who misses him back at home. And <laughs> oh, wow, black man with Bruh. a son. Bruh. Black man with children. He doesn't know where Bruh. he is, but he's somewhere. They're fucking monsters, bro. Oh. And we'll just continue to be the family we are to honor my son's memory. And we will always continue to do that. Kimbrough is appealing his conviction. The court has issued a no contact order. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Lauren Schwenker, WRTV. Mm. 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 Only on six, three families in Miami-Dade were robbed of justice after the man accused of killing their loved ones got deported before his trial. Police say that the man was drunk when he crashed and killed three people on West Flagler. But now that man is in Honduras and won't face any punishment. NBC6 reporter. Yo, you glasses are fucking crazy. Man. We're fucking cooked. We did it again cooked. today. <laughs> yeah, y'all are, y'all are absolutely positively crazy man um like <laughs> the change the just like the sheer change is from 1965 to now like it it just it's unbelievable man it really is mm, mm, mm. Only on six, three families in Miami-Dade were robbed of justice after the man accused of killing their loved ones got deported before his trial. Police say that the man was drunk when he crashed and killed three people on West Flagler. But now that man is in Honduras and won't face any punishment. NBC6 reporter Christian Colon joins us with the story you'll see only on six. Video shows the moment three young lives were cut short. Paola Savillon, her boyfriend Jason Mesa, and his cousin Giselle oh, Reyes yeah, right? were killed when police say their driver, Erwin Zuniga, drove drunk and plowed into a Valero sign. We just want justice. And after we have justice, then maybe we can grieve. That's all we want. But that justice is on a temporary, sure. potentially permanent pause because Zuniga was deported to Honduras last week. According to what uh, his neither. attorney said, his probation officer called him in to change his battery, his anklet battery. He showed up. Immigration was already there. He got detained. His officer removed the anklet and let him go. Good morning. Sir, you were arrested for... Against the family's wishes, Zuniga was placed on house arrest two years ago. But this July record show he violated the rules of his release, to wit, he was arrested by Homeland Security officers. On well, he, he killed three people driving drunk, was put on house arrest, violated the house arrest, and then was deported for violating house arrest. And we're, now cooked. He doesn't have to. we're cooked. We're cooked. <laughs> we're have fucking to cooked. That's crazy. The, the only and silver the lining here work. is he didn't like run over three gliders. That's the only silver lining here. Yeah, like one thing I said, like me traveling, like it's right when I went to Haiti, to DR, to Colombia, they all have that reckless driving, and it's just it's ridiculous. Even when I went to Cuba, it's it's just one way style, reckless driving, man. This is it's just ridiculous. Wow, that's crazy. Um, They would have never built cars, though. That's another thing, too. Like exactly, and and they got those small compact cars too. That's why. That's why I like Haiti loves like a lot of Toyotas are small. That's why they love it because Toyota imports stuff over there. Uh, a lot of Kias is in Colombia. It's just it's ridiculous. Yeah, those Umbritos, they are always fucking drinking too behind the wheel. Like what the fuck? Yeah, well, that's normal. They- yeah, it's it's it's. That, I mean, to be completely cool. fair, damn near every glider I knew growing up did the same thing too. So, but yeah, no, not every one south. of them killed three people. I have to say. Yeah, but say also that. here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. Like, 
the judgment like when, when because of that um their their dna they 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 don't um process alcohol the same way gladys that's true. Processes alcohol. that's definitely true so they have a hard time processing it so it stays in their system longer and it and, it, it, and they stay drunk longer and they get drunker. So it's like they uh, on burrito could drink the same six pack that a glider drinks, and that on burrito is buzzed. A different place. He's in a different place today. <laughs> yeah, I work. Yeah, I work at an Ecuadorian bar. So yeah, they done. They cook. Yeah. So so um, salute to um, Austin Devil Court the Third, Op Nation Hall of Famer. Man, he says salute. Op. Why is it that when sons claim to know true history? You ask for evidence, they always insist that the info is hidden or well, some lost book conveniently in a place you can't get to. Well, Mr. Exactly Mr. Austin, it it's it's incredibly common. I mean Mr. Austin, we just spent like a whole stream yesterday trying to find out. So apparently we can't answer your question. We spent like three hours trying to get it out of some sun man's that is so true. That's exactly what they do. Every time. Every New charges of immigration status. He gets deported. He's living. He's eating. He's sleeping. He's seeing his family. And my sister stopped growing at 19 years old. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, tells NBC6 Zuniga was an unlawfully <laughs> present Honduran national removed by an order signed by an immigration judge from the Executive Office of Immigration Review. No nos han tomado en cuenta. Se burlaron de nosotros. Yeah, I hear a beep. Oh shit! I swear to God, I heard a beep. No, no, han tomado en cuenta. Se burlaron de los Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Second one in a row. Got him. Oh, the last one had a beep. Yeah, we heard a beep before. Hop like you said. Oh my God! So there. Yeah. You're getting. Yeah, I'm telling you that that beep is a problem for Gladys. People, something about people who don't change the battery in their um smoke detector it says something about them i think i i thought i had it but i think it's much deep. i thought i had it that like they don't psychopathy um, no 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 they just don't understand they don't get the, the future um, yeah, the the the, the 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 abstractness of the smoke detector, yeah. the fact that the the detector there's no fire right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What you mean? There's no man. fire right Ain't now. Ain't no on fire. <laughs> yeah. So is it, it and and then but the fact that the beat doesn't cause them to do anything about it is a different. That's another troubling thing. Yeah, it's even more crazier because that shit is like supposed to drive you crazy. Even if you're exactly. too retarded to not understand why it's beeping, like it's supposed to drive you nuts. Well, here's the thing. Even if you're not going to like change the battery, just take it off the wall. Yeah, so it's yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's just, and, and then also the fact that a battery is like maybe, you know, maybe a dollar. You know what I'm saying? A, a, yeah, it's just DNA. The to put in there is is the the cost, the time it would take to replace the battery. Like these are people that build houses. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah you're material, right. But but they they wouldn't take the time to buy a battery and replace it. It's just insane. Um, De las tres familias. The victims' families feel betrayed by the government since Zuniga hasn't gone to trial for killing three of their loved ones. It's like they're mocking, making jokes in our faces, Jason's mother tells us. They feel my mom. They he feel the other two breathe. families. My sister was a human being. <laughs> Can the news people say something, please? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? How do you sleep, man? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Little shit like that disturbs me when I'm trying to sleep, man. Like, I, I would, I would be, yeah, I would. That would yeah, fuck that'd me. drive me wild. An animal. State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle tells NBC Six the family was robbed of justice and cheated by governmental failure. 
adding this could have been avoided if those overseeing house arrests had simply notified them or the court of you know what we gotta look to see if trashy white people do the same thing too Let's see if this is about poverty what's the chirping um, yeah the chirp is about poverty because their intention to release him and state attorneys say they are trying to work with the federal government to try and bring the defendant back. We reached out to the Miami-Dade Corrections and Zuniga's public defender, but they did not want to comment. In Miami- Wow. <sighs> A local